What's up guys, Jay, Morning After Kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 1, Game of the Year Edition, on Steam, and it seems like Gearbox has gone silent in 2014, and hasn't given us any type of update on what the next Headhunter Pack DLC that 2K confirmed on their blog, and also if they're gonna be having further support for Borderlands 2 in 2014 past the Vita version. So, a lot of people have been turning back and playing Borderlands 1, especially since 1, it's a very old game, and a lot of PCs can actually run this because it was made, probably, yeah, it was actually made last decade. <laughs> so, a lot of people have been playing this, but a lot of people have also been asking, why the fuck is there no FOV slider inside of Borderlands 1? And that's right! This is another subscriber requested video. I actually had one guy that every time he sees me in somebody else's live stream, he's like, Mac, hey Mac, for like the last two weeks, he's like, where is the Borderlands 1 field of view tutorial that you promised me? Well, I got pushed back in a little bit of video, so that's what this is going to be today. I'm going to show you how to change your FOV on Borderlands 1 on Steam. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to be here at our dashboard. And we're just going to go down and open up a folder, and we're going to go to where our games are. Uh, your folder might be a little bit different. I have mine in my C folder, Documents. We're going to go to My Games, and then boom, click on Borderlands, Willow Game, Config, and then we're going to go to Willow Input right there. Right there. That's what we need, and you see where it says Engine Player Input. This is all you're going to do. There's going to be a paste bin down in the description down below. It has to be a paste bin because it's going to contain code and YouTube does not let you put code inside of the motherfucking description. So you're going to paste that right there. And what this is going to do is give you hotkeys on your keyboard for whatever keys you really want it to be. I had it uh, set to uh, F9, F10, and F11. Uh, before you do this, though, you want to make sure that you go ahead and make a backup of your actual, you know, Willow file right there. But you don't really have to because if you know what you're changing and you can just change that back, it's no big deal. So uh, you can actually set those FOV and the key commands to anything that you actually want. I personally like 110. The other one, one I put on there was 70, which is the stock uh, default FOV that's on Borderlands 1. And then the other one is like kind of a mixture in between. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Goth plays on a 95 FOV too. So, uh, that's, it's kind of like the three most common settings. You have, you know, the console, then you have the mid range, and then you also have the extreme FOV that you see people like me or Baru use it, which I'm pretty sure Baru does, uh, run on 110 because his gameplay actually looks very motherfucking familiar when I'm watching the actual FOV. I'm like, damn, motherfucker. That is one sexy F.O. motherfucking V. <laughs> so, anyway, we're here in Borderlands 1, and all you gotta do now is click your hotkeys, and you can change the F.O.V. on the fly. And like I said, you can have this set to change the F.O.V. to anything that you actually want, to any key that you actually want. All you gotta do is just look at that little bit of code right there, where it says, like, F8, you wanna go change that. Like, if you want it to be P, go ahead and change it to P. If you want a 40 F.O.V., Go ahead and change it to 40 FOV. But I will tell you, there are a few little weird things about this uh, when you do change the FOV. Uh, number one, when you melee, it does zoom in back to the original FOV. It's not that big of a deal. And also, when you do get inside of cars and you get out, your FOV resets to the default FOV. So that's why we have them bound to these uh, hotkeys right there. But you can see on the screen... With the, uh, you know, 110 FOV, which is I run on Borderlands 2, you can see that it actually looks like I'm running as fast as I am in Borderlands 2, and I'm not really running extra fast in this or in Borderlands 2. It's just the field of view makes the game feel a little bit more fast-paced, and you get a little bit extra, you know, vision. You get an extra, extra little bit of space on the screen to do a little bit more ass motherfucking whooping. <laughs> so, I actually like this because it does make Borderlands 1 feel a lot more fast paced like Borderlands 2, especially on 110 FOV. So, my name is Jay. More than I have to kill, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. 
This was a subscriber requested video, and I'm pretty sure there's a few people out there that are playing Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition. Uh, it doesn't have to be Game of the Year Edition, I just, I just like saying that because I can go on Steam! <laughs> so, my name is Jay, more than I have to kill, thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.